Okay, what is up, Brody? And today we are back again with another video. Now, today we are going to be doing or showing you guys how you can get yourself the albino level 4 fallow deer that you can get with the missions here. Quick disclaimer we are starting on the fourth one here just because by January playing um, Call of the Wild and playing on Hirschfeld, I passively did the other, like the first three. They are really easy though. So the first thing is just travel to Rattenfeld and five find five tracks from the same fallow deer. There's this, yeah. So all you literally have to do is make it the time that we're going to be using today as well. So six. And all you have to do, go to any one of these fields. And as you can see, there is a ton of oh, lots of road deer. Okay, well, these road deer ones are also fallow deer feed zones. You'll see them all jumbled around here around the area being fallow deer road deer you will find fallow deer in these fields here of rattenfeld if you're really having issues with finding that make it 9 30 and come to this lake over here fallow deer will be drinking here for me personally it's 9 30 1300 but all you do go there track the animal make sure you pick five tracks up and you're good to go second one mission number two id calls from two different fallow deers again go through the fields and you can do this kind of the easier way of just walking around and getting their mating call and do that passively if you're really 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 trying to do this uh just try sprinting towards like past their zone so if the zone is actually if the zone is like on the map here let's say the zone is kind of at this road here run kind of towards the side not directly towards the zone but a little bit more to the side of it and try and trigger them to give you a warning call that will generally work pretty good as well so that is a bit more of a direct way to doing it but other than that just try and go close to the zones sneak around and either try and trigger a warning call or a mating call either one of those will work and you just have to get two of them which shouldn't be too hard for you to get and generally you'll just get that passively so that one really isn't too hard uh number three spot three different fallow deer Again, do the same thing you did for the first one. Go through the fields here and just press E, E, and E again. And that mission should be good. We're going to be spotting fallow deer during this video. So if you have a question about how to do that, just watch the rest of the video. And I will be showing you how you can do that. Now, mission number four. This one is a little bit more hard and can be a little bit more challenging. But it is take a picture of a fallow deer within 50 meters and we have no real restriction of where we should go we could go anywhere on the map i am gonna go again though just for keeping this simplistic and because i know i have fallow deer we're just gonna go ahead pop over to this tent that i have and we're just gonna try and get nice and close to them and there you guys can see fallow deer are right over there and technically look we spotted three of them already and maybe I can even show you guys how you can get them to trigger and call you. But let's get over there. Let's try and get ourselves a picture of any one of them. We just have to make sure that we are going to be within 50 meters and our wind is pretty good. So let's hope that doesn't change and let's get walking straight into there. Now, one thing that I should give you guys, since this is kind of going to be a little bit of a tips and tricks on this missions while I'm also completing them, um, basically... Until you're about 150, 160 way, you can walk in. And then once you hit kind of the 150 mark, I would recommend you start crouching. And you can fast crouch walk there or slow crouch walk there. It doesn't really matter until you're right at around 100-ish meters. And once you're at 100, I would recommend that you go slow crouching until you see them go attentive. Once they go attentive, I would really, really recommend that you start laying down and you're just gonna crawl your way over there as best you can so let's do that and i'll be back once we're close to around 50 ish meters also if you this method it doesn't work for you um first of all i'd recommend also place just kind of a general marker of where you are but if you have if they're in an open field and you can't hide anywhere then what you can do as well is you can get yourself the antler collar or the antler rattle collar i think it's called which will work for fallow deer and you can just use that to well call them in and see goes attentive let's lay down and let's crawl the rest of the way 
where you can then just go ahead and hide in something like i don't know a bush down there or something where you're hidden and hopefully that will allow you to get them to get close to you and then you should be able to get yourself that picture within 50 meters those are kind of the best tips that you can do you could also try coming in from another angle where the wind won't bother you uh, you could try using tree stands, tripod stands if you really wanted to and have really have the difficulty with it. But generally, as you can see, this should not really be an issue and you should be able to get in there pretty, pretty well and rather easy. Now, I just want to make sure that we're actually within 50 meters. So let's walk just a tiny bit further. I think I'm going to go to this tree and then pop up there, take a picture of that. And then hopefully that mission should be completed there. But I know a lot of people have issues always with photo missions, which is why I'm doing this a little bit more detailed as, well, I don't want you guys to have those issues. I want you guys to be able to get this working smoothly and rather quickly. So let's get out the camera. Let's zoom in and mission completed. There you go. That was rather easy and not too hard to do. So now that we're actually here, you know what? Let's not get the tents out. Let's just shoot through them. <laughs> I mean, we're here anyway. Why don't we pick up some fallow deer, you know? And again, for the tracking as well from earlier, I think most of you will get how to do this, but just follow the red track and pick up all the tracks that you can. And you should be able to get yourself those five tracks rather, rather quickly. So first female down, second female down. Obviously, these are nothing really special, but... I just wanted to quickly show how you can actually do this. Now let's look. What is the next mission that we're going to have to do? Let's go in here. Let's take a look. Um, Travel to Schoenfeld Windows. Harvest a wildlife down with a scope weapon from a hunting stand. Okay, so this one is pretty easy again as well. It's not too hard. There is going to be a tripod. It's kind of like a, a hunting structure right here that you're going to use. And you're just going to have to shoot something around this area. Usually there are fallow feed zones around there, so we're just going to keep this time the same and I'm just going to walk in there from above the north here and hopefully it works out rather well. Okay, so there again, you can kind of see, so we have a feed zone probably somewhere over here. I just sprinted into this area because of, well, the hunting structure and I just triggered myself the warning call over there. And that is how you do it. So all I was really doing, I was just sprinting in here and got that and we'll probably see here yeah, look there are fallow deer fleeing right over there so i wasn't directly running towards them i was kind of going in their general direction but that is how i triggered that and oh wow <laughs> we actually have a level five. Oh, we gotta smoke that in a second we're gonna set up everything here and then we're gonna shoot that five. Oh wow i think it's a troll but <laughs> that is crazy and here we are in the stand, so nothing too crazy. It's kind of like the usual one. But if we really wanted to go the route now of just kind of going through this mission as quickly as possible, like I said, I could just shoot that road here. Or if I had something beating down there, I could use that as well. Quickly going to go over some tips. I'm going to try and see if maybe the fallow deer are going to come back in. So I'm going to wait here and give you my tips while we wait. But so if you technically don't have any zones around here grab yourself a rotor collar grab yourself the antler rattle collar and just call like crazy try red deer collars as well try basically any collar you can to try and attract any kind of animal that's within like 150 ish meter radius if you did what i just did with spooking all the animals out take a tent with you place a tent down right over there reset time and get in here and just wait for the animals to come back in now if the caller method that i just said doesn't work but let's say you have like a drinking zone kind of down there what you can do now this is going to take a lot of time and i would recommend doing it i would either rather you test out different times in the day to actually see if there's other animals feeding around here but you can try and do it's a little bit of a pain but you could try and look if you have any drink zones around here because fallow deer do drink here and you could try and get them to call them in stand like here call them in 
move further up, call them in the air, and then shoot them from up here. You could try and do that and kind of just incrementally get them closer and closer to the stand. Or I'm not sure if this actually works 100%. I'm not too sure about it, but you might try and use a tripod stand and use that. I mean, we could try and do that this in this video. Just give that a shot. We're shooting the five, and if that doesn't work, then we might as well just use the fallow deer down there. Uh, not the fallow, the road deer, but we can try that. And I'm going to reset time, so I'm going to get myself a tripod stand set up. Oh my god, there's our five. He's right over there. He just gave me a warning call. So... Okay, that second shot was good. Let's hope that that counts as shot out of a tripod stand. Otherwise, we might have to wait. But while I was sitting here for, I don't know, when did I start? Yeah. About four minutes ago, I have gotten three mating calls and one warning call. So yeah, getting those calls is definitely not difficult. You just have to sit kind of in an area where they're going to be. And you'll generally get those calls no matter what. And I can already see good thing that we got ourselves that follow up shot. Because based on that first one, we were not going to get the full trophy score out of this. This fellow dude does look pretty nice though. He didn't have the biggest estimate, but who knows. Let's look if we can get our dog in here. Get him in there for a nice little picture. Look at that. With the sun in the background and everything. Let's get that sun rays in there. Oh, wow. This looks great. This just looks great. I don't know. Is this going to be a diamond though? I am not 100% sure. But let's just have a look. It's a gold. Oh, it's not even close. 228. Wow. They need 251. So that's yeah, just a troll. But still, it's going to go in the troll lodge. And if I go out of this, I'm curious. Is this going to count towards the mission? Let's look. Is my mission completed? Um, no, okay, so we are gonna have to use these hunting stands up here. Good thing that we checked that. Very good that we checked that because that means that we cannot use the regular tripod stands. Good thing that we found that out. Good thing that I didn't recommend that, but yeah, then you're kind of gonna be stuck to this thing over here because as far as I know, that down there is gonna be considered a ground blind. So you are just going to have to try and use this. But we had, as you saw, three or four fallow deer around us here. So this should not be as big of a challenge. But man, that sucks. That definitely sucks. And look, again, another call that we sadly didn't get ourselves a diamond. But let me reset what time one more time and then let's get this mission done. Okay, it's kind of hard to see, but our rotor there is... Kind of in the trees there. Is there something else running around me here? Uh, okay, so I think we're going to take that rotor back there. Just because it is currently the easiest thing to shoot here. So we downed it out of the stand here. Let's go pick that up and let's just complete this mission. And just to show you guys that you don't actually have to take down a fallow deer for this. You can actually take whatever. You could even take a boar or a bison if you really wanted to. Or even if you have some kind of rabbits around here, I th you could just shoot one of those as well. As long as they're in the zone and as long as you're taking it down from that hunting stand, you are going to be just fine. And let's pick this up. This should count for our mission, I'm pretty sure. We lower neck shot at it and vertebrae shot at it. Let's accept that and there we go. We got ourselves new mission, Jaeger 6. So let's look what we have to do. Harvest... Two fellow deer down with a 243 caliber rifle and earn a gold score or higher. Okay. So all we're going to have to get ourselves is a 243. And I think we're just going to go looking around the fields here again, honestly, because I feel like going in their feed zones is going to make this a little bit simpler. So we're going to try that. And if that doesn't prove any good or terrible, then we are just going to switch to the drink time, which if you're wondering is nine till 12 or 1300. I think it's 1200. Where do I have a fellow spot? There we go. Yeah, it's until 1300 or 1330, depending on the zone. Well, I have just been having some terrible, terrible luck. All I keep finding is threes or fours of that size, which I'm pretty sure neither of which 
are going to actually be scoring gold. But I'm going to just get them now. So if I have enough luck, they might come back as respawns. And if either one of them is gold, then, well, we just might as well have one that's off the list. And then we just have to go on. I did move over to drink zones, if you haven't noticed. Um, yeah, I don't know. The feed zones, I was I was not having much luck there. So I decided to just go ahead and try the drink zones because maybe there were some zones that I couldn't find from the feed zones that would come to the drink zone. So that is kind of going to be my hope here now that by making a drink time that some of the zones that I did manage to see in the feed zone times uh, are going to be showing up here and having those nice gold scoring animals. Which I have found a ton of as I picked this up. I've seen a ton of wild boar. I think I saw more wild boar than I saw fallow deer. Which is kind of crazy if you ask me. Like, that is usually not a response that many people will give you when you talk about Hirschfelden. Since, I don't know. I don't usually see a lot of of boar on here. I usually see a ton of roe deer, a ton of fallow deer, and a good amount of red deer. But the boars are usually always the ones that are hiding in different places. Oh, let's look. Here is the one three. And yeah, okay. This is just another silver. So I doubt that the other four that we shot is going to be any bigger. And oh, this is actually gold. Nice. 177.5 so we've got one of our golds done very very nice i don't know how this is bigger than the other one but okay that means we've got one gold off the list yeah so we are just going to need to go ahead and get ourselves a second one which i'm hoping we can manage to do at this lake over here and there we go look at that we've actually got some some pretty nice looking fallader coming in there so yeah definitely worth coming to this lake very happy I went with that. Now, what is that in there? I wish I could spot that, but I don't think it's going to let me. Plus, it doesn't really look all that big, so I feel like we're going to be good with taking out probably that four over there. And then if we really have to, we could technically go for another one. But I feel like we're going to be more than fine with shooting that one right there. Is that going to be a vital organ? Yes, it is. And I'm pretty sure that's going to be gold, right? Yeah, 174. Okay, perfect. So we got that part of the mission done at least, which is good. So we've got Jaeger 7. Let's have a look. What is that going to be? Um, harvest 2 down from a ground blind in Schoenfeld Starfields. Okay, so I think this is... I'm actually not sure at this point. But I know where this is. This is going to be right over here. I'm pretty sure it's this blind right over there i think it's right there but i'll show you guys in a second on the map where that is but this mission is not too difficult as well as long as you have an animal there otherwise the same kind of principle applies as before with the uh, shooting stand but this time we can actually again use whatever gun we want so i'm just gonna take the m1 with me and as you can see, here it is. It's going to cost you 1700 And let's look. What kind of a view do we have in here? So, eh, it's limited, but we can see pretty far. So, with that being said, let's place down a 10. I am going to make it 530 again. And I'm pretty sure that we should find some nice animals around here. I am, however, going to go for something slightly different i'm probably not gonna try and go for fallow deer again i am probably most likely gonna go for the wild boar and the roe deer around this area okay since it, again it doesn't say anything about how you take these animals out or if they're gonna be a good shots or bad shots i am currently seriously considering trying to go for just those two wild boars down there <laughs> i mean it is just so tempting isn't it they're standing right next to each other. I just want to make sure that I can actually spot both of them. Just to be 100% sure that I can get both. But they should both go down. Let's look. Um, she's proving a little bit more difficult. So let's just give her a follow-up shot. Unless she's another one. She might be another one. So we might have just taken out three. But 
Either way, they're both gonna go down. And we have two animals down out of this round binder, so that should all be good. And we actually did drop two right next to each other, so we're not gonna go pick up that third one, but here's one of them downed. Just a nice right lung hit. And the other one with a left lung hit. So got two of them down. And that should complete Jaeger number eight. Now is this next one. Oh, we actually need one more mission. Jeez, there's actually a lot of missions here. So okay, this one's gonna be another one of drinking zone. So go here and go here. There's two real nice spots there. We're just gonna go there, change the time, and make it fallow deer drink time. And that should be it, honestly. That should be all we gotta have to do for that. Just harvest those, and then I hope that this is actually the next or the last one. Because I actually thought that there weren't gonna be as many as there are currently. But let's just look, and hopefully we can get this done a bit quicker. Because otherwise this video might be very, very long. Okay, there we go. There is our first fallow deer here. Let's look. Can we get him just with a decent shot like that? I think that should be rather good. Let's look. Is he going to drop? But yeah, there's good zones here. There's a really nice one over there. And if you're really, really unlucky, then on most maps that I've ever gone on multiplayer as well, there are zones a little bit further back there and you can just call the animals in and that should do the trick for you. At least it should. Um, most of the time and I know I've kind of rushed this year now but I honestly didn't think that there were this many missions honestly I thought there was seven or eight at maximum but there's the next one dropped so hopefully that should be two out of three and done by this point well we somehow completely missed that first fallow deer but at least we have this one down I got it with a double lung hit so worst case scenario, if there's not two fallow deer a little bit further back here, then we might just reset time and just pick him off. But okay, well, we have one coming up here and he is about to be spooked. So let's just shoot him. And I think just to try and save time, I think we're going to loop back and look if that other one came back. And if he hasn't, we're just going to quickly reset time and come back walking in here obviously if you're on a little bit of a tighter budget in terms of call of the wild cash um don't rush around like i'm doing right now i'm trying to make this fit into a tight type in a bit of a quicker time frame here to make this video not be 30 40 minutes long because i honestly didn't think that there were as many missions as there are okay well i actually found another fallow deer that i think is going to work just the same so yeah let's just try and get that guy down and well here is fallow deer number three obviously not nothing crazy but we're just trying to complete these missions and that was jaeger eight so let's look this one harvest a fallow deer down at least 150 meters away at night with a 270. Ooh, so there's actually a lot more missions I should probably have made this a two-parter at this point, but... Okay, let's figure out what to do at night and how we can find a fallow deer. And then we're going to use just a 270 and just try and get some kind of shot at them. Okay, so my tactic was honestly just, I'm just going to run through here, make an animal flee, get it to a little over 150 meters away, and then just take the shot at night because well they're technically feeding at this time uh i don't know i felt like this would work pretty good so if he's just gonna turn at that point then i'll use it if not then we're just gonna go for the intestine shot so let's give this a quick second there we go not too sure but since we don't really have to get any kind of metal requirements here we could have also just taken that one obviously back there but since that one's going down anyway we might as well just take it and get this mission completed because i hope that the next one after this is actually the albino one because yeah otherwise this video is going to be 30 plus minutes long and here is our fallow deer so let's pick this up obviously we didn't get anything crazy but that is a very interesting rack to say the least very wide that is a very very wide looking for but 
cool. That is that mission completed. So now hopefully we should have it. There we go. Travel to Schoenfeld Bunkers. Harvest the albino fallow deer. Perfect. So for anyone that doesn't know where that is, that is hopefully going to show up. Did I not select the mission? There we go. That is going to be right down here. And if I remember correctly, I think the fallow deer spawns right over there. I, th I think it was right there. There's like a point of interest there and he's just going to stand there basically right in the middle. So let me make it. It doesn't really matter what time we set it because it's all going to be good. So let's just make it. I don't know. Let's make it like 630 in the morning just so that we have some nice sunlight. And you know what? Why don't we take it out with a 270? I think that's going to be a good thing to do. Um, I'm just looking where the bunker is. Let's go a little bit shorter and hopefully that will work out for us. And let's get ourselves at level 4. Let's go. And look, it even points it out right for us on where he's going to be. So just kind of go within 250 meters and it will give you a notification of where the deer is. So let's start slow walking here because I really don't know how good the senses are of that fallow deer. And what I really don't want to have happen is that he is going to run away and spook. Because then we're going to go ahead and have to track it. And I really don't want to do that because he is just going to be standing kind of still there in the middle in an open field and I think if I go up here I think we should be able to see it look there we go oh wow does that not look amazing like you cannot tell me that that doesn't look great now, let's just get rid of our waypoint here if I could there we go and let's go for that shot 150 meters basically perfectly broadside Wow, that thing looks stunning. Let's just do that. Let's drop him there. Let's go pick this guy up. Wow, wow, wow. And there we go. Let's get a quick picture of that. One laying down. Just to get a nice close-up here. I wish the nose wasn't burrowed under the ground, but not much I can do. And now, let me stop you guys from wanting to see what this guy looks like. Let's go. It is a gold at 218, exactly 90 kg. Wow, what a beautiful, beautiful mission trophy, which you can get yourself as well. I mean, I like these videos. I like showing you guys how to do it because I can get myself a rare for the multi mount. And yeah, you guys should all be getting a similar score of 218 as well, I think. If you already have this animal or are doing this mission, please do comment down below what you got or what exact score you got because I think they're all going to be at exactly 90 kg and they're always going to be level 4 and I think they're going to be around 215 225 or scoring area I think as far as I know but I mean this guy just looks awesome like you cannot tell me that this doesn't look cool like this is really cool but that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Also, did you guys notice any kind of change in the audio in terms of how the microphone sounds? Did you think it sounded a little bit more crisp and maybe a little bit more radius, radio-esque like? Because I have been playing around a little bit with equalizers and trying to make this sound a little bit more professional, a little bit more nicer. So if you heard a difference, please do let me know down below as well. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, like I said, please do definitely make sure to go ahead and hit that like button as it really does help the channel out a lot. Also, if you're new around here or you just haven't done so and like stuff like this, definitely make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're always notified when I upload new videos or I live stream, which I do now kind of three to four times a week. But with that being said, have a good day. Bye bye and peace.